All right, guys, it was brought to my attention that the birdhouse painting, um, in the YouTube channel video, you could not see the bottom of the fence. So I'm going to go over with you really quickly on how to do the bottom of the fence. So you saw how I did the top of the fence. Um, you just make rectangles and then you paint them with brown, the lighter brown that you have, and then you come back in. So we're gonna paint these with brown. And then you come back in with that gray and just add some streaks in there to make it look like a weathered fence. You're gonna do that same thing for the crossbar that holds the fence together. So that light brown and add a little bit of gray. And then I also added some darker brown through here. You can see it kind of right here. Um, this will just make your fence look weathered. You also need to take that darker brown and underline this bottom edge all the way across and then you need to do the same thing on the top edge okay now for the greenery because I think that's a lot of the that's the main part um, that you guys really couldn't see so I just took some dark green and we just made a vine. So my vine starts down here on the left hand corner and you're just gonna, it just kind of wraps around and then when it goes behind something like this fence for instance, it's gonna stop and then it comes out the bottom side. And then you just put some curls on it So do the vine first with the curls. Add all of your curls. Okay. I do apologize for the shakiness of this um, video, but my arm that holds my camera is already packed for my location painting that I will be doing this Saturday, June 27th. So um, I do apologize. I just didn't want to unpack it because we're leaving very soon. And then on this side, I started my vine kind of from the bottom of my canvas and it went up and then this curl came behind the fence and curled around in front of the fence. And then this curl was off of this side and this this side of the vine just went in front of the fence it did not wrap around and then I just added my curls once you have your curls we're gonna add some leaves to this so um, those leaves are just like teardrops or parentheses put together I know it's really hard to see. I'll add another set of leaves over here. So when you do your leaf, you're going to make a set of parentheses that touch and fill it in. And you're going to make a two next to each other so that they can hold your flower. So we did one, so now we're going to do the other one. And again, it's just two parentheses that touch. Like so. Now for the flowers, those are so easy peasy. They're just like little buds. And you can make your flowers any color you want to. I just chose to do mine a really light pink. But you can make them purple, blue, yellow, any color you want to. Red. 
And those are just, so when you do these flowers, they're, they're like um, the leaves, they're just parentheses. You start with one set and you fill that in and then you do another one. So there's your set of leaves right there, only it's a flower petal. And then you do your one in the middle. Like that. Okay, so let me show you that again. These two little flowers only have um, two, these two little buds. So again, it's, my paintbrush is in the way. It's like parentheses that touch and fill it in and then parentheses that touch and fill it in. All right, let me show you that one more time. So parentheses that touch, and this is just, again, that leaf shape. And then do the other side. All right, guys, I really hope that this helps you and um, I will be sure to check my camera and make sure that as I move my camera around, or my canvas rather around during the videos, that you guys can see all of my canvas. Thanks for painting with me. Bye.